Hello again. I came with another video that is organization blockers used as troubleshooting. We will see on this video OB86. OB86 is rack fail fault or slave failure or restarted. The operating system of the CPU calls OB86 whenever the failure of slave is detected. So if OB86 has not been programmed, the CPU changes to the stop mode when this type of error is detected. Okay. Here are the default variables of OB86. Okay. We can use those default variables to extract the hardware message. And here are the, sorry again, the default, here are the error codes for OB86. So we will use those things later. Okay, let's go to Semantic Manager. So as you see, there is no OB86. Now let's create one error that's related with OB86. Okay. Let's create an error. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's say, as you see, here are the profibus addresses 20, 25, and 30. So let's deactivate sl slave address 20. Okay. As you see, the CPU goes to stop mode and shows some D DB, DP fault or profibus fault. So without OB86, the CPU goes to stop mode. Let's see the Genesis buffer first. Okay. As you see, the head is the slave is missed. So let's see the diagnosis buffer. So CPU stopper by rack pillar. OB is not loaded. Okay. Great. Let's resolve this problem by adding OB86. Okay, let's insert OB86. Okay, download again. Okay, let's create let's create an error again with OB86, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's slave address twenty five missing. Okay, as you see, the CPU shows some system fault in the DP fault or profibus fault, but it doesn't go to the stop mode. It's executing the other programs. So let's see the diagonal buffer. Okay, here this one is missing as showing a red. Okay, distributed IO station failure. So here are some information is station number 25 missing. 
and the input address 8187 the hardware address okay so now we can extract this message to our program using the default variable of ob86 and send those messages to our hmi for easily troubleshooting okay let's do that one again okay first let's add the function Here is OB86 and uh, the default variables are here. So for network one, I move the event class. That's 38 means outgoing and 39 incoming event. And network is network two is error codes. As you see, we will compare with our PowerPoint later. And Network 3 is module address. The diagnostic address of the failed module. The master. Here is a slave address with fault. So this one is the important one. This is the last module failed. So the address will be stored in on here. So let me close this one and uh, move those parameters to ob to function six. Okay. Let me monitor. The value is zero right now. So let's create error again. Let's create an error on this one. Apply. It's showing system fault in the DP fault. Okay, see. Slave in five is missing. Let's see the diagonal buffer. Okay, this is IO station pillar. It's missing a station, missing a slave 25. And DP slave 80, 81, 87. And DP master 81, 90. So let's see on our function those things. Okay, it's the event class is 39. That means incoming event. The error code is C4. So let's see what is this one means. Okay. Set 9 C4 means this one. Failure of DP station. That means it shows the failure of the DP slate station. Okay. Let's see and the others again. Here is the bit address of the DP master. That's this one is hexa. Let's change it to the sorry. Decimal one e f one f f e sorry. 
that's 8190 that's the master address here 8190 okay Okay, 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 okay. This one is a little bit complex. Let me. Okay, as you see, the slave address is 19 it's hexa. When we change it to the decimal, ninety means twenty five. So the slave address 5 is missed. Let's add 30 again. It's 1e. 1e is 30. And let's add again 20. 40 means 20. So it will store the last failed profit bus address. So this OB is very useful to diagnose the Profi bus network network. Okay. okay. Thank you. I have uh, completed or finished or finished for this one. Okay.